It's fun. I'm, I'm enjoying the environment. I like the atmosphere here. Uh, the guys seem really welcoming. Coaching staff is awesome. Legendary guys on this team, uh, starting with our head coach. So uh, very excited to be here. What was your reaction to the trade? Um, I was shocked. I didn't. I didn't know it was coming. I didn't know it was happening. Um, you know, I didn't. I didn't ask to be out of Buffalo, but it's something that transpired. Um, you know, it's the nature of the business. Uh, I wish those guys the best, but um, I'm happy to be in this locker room and, uh, and be wanted by this organization. Do you feel like things have changed this season? Obviously, you had numbers last year, but this yeah. year had, had a lot of catches. Yeah, um, I felt like I had a, a good amount of production in my second season. Um, stepping into the third season, obviously, was hoping and planning for more. Um, it wasn't turning that direction in the beginning. I was just trying to stay as patient as possible um, and really trust uh, in that process of uh, it will eventually happen. Um, but I did my role. I feel like I did it really well. Um, the targets and all that stuff, you know, can't really focus on that. I can't control that. But um, I did what I could. But now I'm here. So it's exciting to be here. Uh, exciting to be in this locker room with these guys. Coach What's Gruden was talking last week about how, what are you going to do with your bye week? So I'm going to get with Zay and start teaching him plays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you guys, did you get a crash course? Yeah, I mean, that, that guy loves football. He loves the game of it. Um, it's one of the hardest working men, men that I've seen. Uh, we, we hit the playbook pretty hard, going over everything, just trying to get me caught up to speed. Um, offense is very complex, um, a lot of stuff that goes into it. You know, guys have been here since training camp, and I've been here only for a few days, so I'm trying to catch up uh, to the pace that they're at. You had spinning, or you think you can get out there and play pretty soon? <laughs> there's some there's some situations that spin, but um, I, th I think I'm getting it down pretty pretty well. It's going to take some time. Just got to keep keep pressing it, uh, stay in the playbook, and uh, just ultimately getting with uh, quarterbacks and everything. May I had you ranked as one of the higher guys in the draft coming out when he was doing the draft panels, yeah. and then and Gruden obviously was excited to, to see you. To, to come to a place where they're so excited to have you here, yeah. what does that mean? Yeah, I had a conversation with uh, Mayock at Senior Bowl and mm -hmm. Combine stuff, and seemed like an unbelievable person. Really told me um, how, how, how highly he thought of me, and uh, it, it just comes full circle. Now to be under uh, his management with a great coaching staff, um, hopefully I can be in a position just to, to help this football team. I mean, I'm coming into a situation, this is a good football team already, before I was even here. And so uh, just to be a small piece of it, it's an honor, it's a blessing. How do you describe your skill set and what you can bring to this team? Uh, just a, a hard work ethic. You know, that's what I'm about. Uh, versatility. I'm going to give this team everything I have, 100% effort, um, and, and just a playmaker. You know, I want to make plays. I made plays in my career. I've done it. I put it on tape. Um, so hopefully I continue just to, to keep making plays for this football team. But like I said before, this team was good before I got here. Um, these guys have something special going on here. I'm glad to be um, brought into here and, and to help this team ultimately get to where we want to be. This team has also uh, had a lot of injuries and some setbacks at, at the wideout spot. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that there's an opportunity for you to come in here and contribute quickly and shore up a, 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 an area that has struggled? Yeah. I'm not sure the, the details of the injuries and things like that and all of the setbacks. Um, like, I know Ty was banged up, and then younger guys like Keelan Dawson stepped up, uh, Hunter stepped up. I'm still evaluating this team and trying to watch the film on us just to see how we uh, operate. So I can't answer all those questions as far as just controlling what I can. Um, I'm going to try to be ready to go against um, the Green Bay Packers, whether I'm up, down, whatever it is. I'm going to be a great teammate on the sideline for my guys, or if I'm in the game, I'm trying to make plays for my team. So that's where I'm at with with it. It's a day by day process. Today was day one for me. Uh, I think it was turning in the right direction, just understanding everything because when the bullets are flying, it's different than just on paper and just sitting down. You know? How long do you feel like it actually takes you to kind of get on the same page with your quarterback? Gosh, that's a good question. Um, I, th I think for each, each quarterback is different, you know, understanding how they speak, their terminology, what it is that they want, what it is that they expect, how they throw the football and things like that. So I was just talking with DC earlier about, you know, what he wants and how he operates. And it seems like first and foremost, he's an unbelievable person. So um, just trusting with him, getting with him, understanding his timing, and then we'll go from there.